Okay, so I'm gonna take off that rubber thing, pull this out a fair amount, tuck the rubber thing away, and then kind of um, work on the extensions, balancing them left to right. So I think, and it's kind of an easy test, because if you pick it up in the middle and the thing balances, then you've got it out the same distance. Um, so Marty, pick that up and see if, just by holding it in the middle, if it's balancing. Okay, then. Okay, so. Um, just go straight. We'll we'll go out. You know, no no U-turns. Okay, he wants the U-turn with an 18-foot pole. I'll be right behind you, judging, critiquing, because that's how I roll. Just, just do your best. I do not hold you liable for whacking anything. Okay, Marty has got a hold of the selfie stick. And with an abundance of caution, he will make these wide turns and thread the needle. <laughs> and um, I think by now he's already found out that this is really not nearly as difficult as one might make it out to be. So I think you kind of get used to fighting a long selfie stick and you can't imagine one double in size being, you know, easier, <laughs> which it absolutely is in this case. But let's see. This camera, God knows where it's facing, but we need to, there, that's better. So who knows if the early part of this video is kind of um, almost like useless footage of, uh, okay, Marty sat. <coughs> He sat and stood up because he didn't like how low it gets when you sit. No, I just wanted to see how it felt. Okay. Uh, do you want to extend them? No, it's it's good just where it is. It doesn't look very long. What's that? It doesn't look very long, but... You want me to extend it? Well... Hang on. It's easier for me to do it, so yeah. If you want it extended, let's do that now. It'll be a little bouncier, but I'm just gonna go, um, let's just say the thick part there. Okay. And the thick part there, push that back in. Let's imagine that they're both um, parallel to each other. <laughs> as long as they're both rolling, which they are, I can see. Marty about ready to do some jousting or pole vaulting or something. Because I'm going to edit the footage that is of him with the stick, make him look like a goddamn rock star when I get back to the house, post it, and then he'll go, wow, I look good. And then he'll blame the stick. But he won't credit the stick until he sees himself in all his glory. But um, he's going at a decent clip, so he's not like really backing off. And uh, that's good because I want him to kind of see how speed 
doesn't really negatively affect the balance of the camera. Um, I'm not going to be too corny and say speed is your friend, but if you want the footage to look like you're going fast, you either have to hold the camera super low or go fast or both. I think by now he's discovered that the camera is pretty well behaved and the biggest concern is still like you could crash a thousand dollars worth of camera gear out you know pretty quickly if you hit that black ice or you um, had a car pull out in front of you um, <clears throat> or a wheel cut out but you know we've charged at this point we're going downhill so I think cutouts are pretty um, unlikely um, you know when you're seated it is a little more important to keep the camera or the sticks uh, level um, but the tendency for me and for Marty is if anything is gonna scrape it's gonna be the back camera which is already damaged goods which is not to say that hey you're welcome to skid the back lens on the ground but it's less costly or not as big a deal um, yeah but so far so good and because I want him to have an edit to where there's something in front of him I'll get by him and then edit myself into the um, <coughs> front facing cam because right now I'm going to be in the rear camera facing backwards shot and the front camera facing backwards and then um, I'll wait for a straightaway or where I can see that um, you know there's a good passing lane and no cars coming up I'll get by no rush I think we have a few miles here but yeah once I get up alongside him then the back camera facing forward and the front camera facing backwards will pick me up and then when I pass the front camera I'll get the old uh, uh, front camera facing forward gets me and it won't pick me up as well but the back camera facing forward but he's gonna kind of be in the way of that shot if I stay right in front of him anyway <clears throat> you have you know four camera shots to choose from when you're editing and that's why I think this thing is a winner you know the balance at speed and then you know the number of views that you get to pick okay let's sit down let's get at his level he throw in a few little Master Pro carves. As I was saying, I do like the way this carves seated um, better than the way it carves while standing. Because I got to get the pad set up and stuff so that it's uh, it's more comfortable. So I do see some cars coming up the hill. Um, Marty knows enough to not be right in the center lane and uh, we'll see if he's even more cautious than usual because of the, ca the camera equipment but you know I'm not seeing any stress on his wrists or any any kind of panic or any indication that he's less than a comfortable selfie stick warrior And with this giving me a chance to look ahead for cars, um, tells me if there's a straightest section, it's probably a good chance for me to pass. Okay, so now he can shoot me in front of him 
maybe even pass back if he's so inclined or hang back but in the edit I know that I can um, you know put myself in that shot I can like do a couple different um, click switches from let's say rear camera facing forward to front camera facing backwards to eventually front camera facing forward kind of the uh, the three phases of a successful pass actually four if you start with the person all the way behind you got rear camera facing backwards yeah it's just it's kind of fun to have uh, all these options when you get into the, the editing bay if you will do we see the uh, rock and roll quotes editing bay as if like I'm a renowned digital video editing maven no, I'm um, very much a beginner, one of those frustrated beginners, because you know the software can do anything that you need it to do. And then it's a matter of, okay, what YouTube video series, or who can I call who can get me over the finish line? Um, but there are a lot of resources out there. And... Uh, it's kind of fun when you succeed. Let's see, okay, he's not too far behind me, so that'll be good, good-ish footage, because with any of these wide-angle lens action cams, you don't want to get too spread out, because it, um, you know, uh, it's good when you're, you know, right on somebody, because uh, they're trying to get everything all the time. They can't be too narrowly focused, but, you get too far out in front and you look like an ant on the horizon and that's not exactly very compelling. So, let's see. Now I can use my mirror more effectively with my hands free. But I'm glad he was a good sport and uh, went ahead and picked this thing up because, yeah, I mean, it's not a given <laughs> that somebody's going to want to, you know, risk new equipment, an expensive fall, you know, especially when you're not sure like why you're, why you're bothering. It's like, it's not exactly his first rodeo with filming on an electric unicycle, but it's definitely his first double selfie stick. Wow, this is pretty steepish here like really sit back before these corners and I'm gonna stand up and go real slow allowing him to go by oh and he's standing look at us we are synchronized swimmers, we are. I'm gonna get him a nose plug for Christmas. Okay, here's a little car that is hot riding up. Looks like a Miata. Stay on your own fucking side of the road, assholes. Maybe the only reason that these guys are going slow is because there's a friggin' caterpillar, um, whatever snow plow or heavy construction equipment partially in their lane. Marty looks like a an old double selfie stick pro, man. I guarantee you, if he had been holding just the front half of that stick this whole time, his wrist would be aching at this point. Because you are really sword fighting the air and you've got no counterbalance, no support. Um, it's kind of amazing how hard it is to uh, wrestle the 
one that's half as half the weight and half the size. Okay, no one behind, so that's good. We can just uh, keep concerns, keep ourselves concerned only with cars coming up the other way. Even though it wasn't really difficult or all that long, I bet you Marty will be more than happy to hand this thing back off to me. Okay, I was saying in my little cut here, I'm like, even though it wasn't that long, Marty will be more than happy to relinquish that stick to its original owner. But don't turn him off yet. Okay. Use my clicker. You're not helping me. Oh, what do you want me to do, B? Don't forget my chest cam. Oh, you already have yours. I'm doing it just in case. Just in case I like no, hey. video footage, then I could use my audio with it. You can't click too much. <laughs> ABC. Always be clicking. Do you want me to hold it while you do something? Okay, sure. Thank you. So, Marty is very kindly asking if he wants to be my workbench. Or oh. my work bitch. Yeah, let's go with that. So, I got to say that... Uh, it, um, uh, there's a slight sail effect at times, you know? Well, it's not nothing, but it kind of always gets countered by I wonder what whatever the like, back I one's doing. I wonder what it would feel like in a strong wind, though. Yeah, at some times, we'll put a dummy one in the back, single camera in the front, and just haul ass and see how, you know, that works. The other thing that I wonder... Okay. Please, Chris. Okay, good. I don't usually put them in this frontmost pocket. I'm like, oh God, did I really manage to lose both my caps? So the, the other thing that uh, I would have to get used to is uh, this is really wide with my, yeah. my flex meters. It's actually cramping up my hand. Wow. Because this this thing gets in the way. Yeah, I'm used to holding on to thicker things. It's kind of just biology. Do you, do you, you know, but, um, do you have, uh... <laughs> <laughs> took him a while to get it, but. I want to give you the pleasure. <laughs> oh, you got it? You got it? Okay. I'm gonna have to pleasure myself. Like... So I don't know, it's just, um, it was tiring. Yeah. It was tiring compared to mine. I don't believe him. Well, actually I do. He's used to that skinny little rod and uh, there's just not much I can help him with. Be interested to see your cut. <laughs>